Welcome back to part two of our series on inequalities. But first, today's anagram, Presbyterian. Presbyterian is the denomination of the Christian faith. So I want you to rearrange those letters to come up with a word or a phrase that has something to do with Presbyterian or religion in general, you could say. And I'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. Today's inequality is 2 over x minus 5, a rational expression, less than 10. The first thing you should observe is that x cannot equal 5. Because if x is equal to 5, you're dividing by 0. And you can't divide by 0. I can divide by 0. I've done it many times. If you Google my 1 equals 2 video, you'll see the consequences of dividing by 0. So if x cannot equal 5, there's two cases. x could be greater than 5, or x could be less than 5. If x is greater than 5, then this is a positive quantity. So if I multiply both sides by x minus 5, this inequality does not change. So I'm going to get... 2 is less than 10x minus 50. And if x is less than 5, then this is negative. So when I multiply by x minus 5, I have to change that inequality, and I'll get 2 is greater than 10x minus 50. So let's solve each of those separately and see if we get and or or. We'll, we'll get or if there are two regions that are separate, and we'll get and if there's two regions, or well, one region between two numbers. So let's find out if it's going to be and or or. I don't quite know at this point. So if I bring the negative 50 to the other side and divide by 10, I'm going to get 5.2, in this case less than x. And if I do the same thing over here, I'm going to get 5.2 greater than x. Now, is that complete? Well, we've got to keep this in mind and this in mind. x bigger than 5.2 does agree with that, so this is the first part of the solution. x has to be bigger than 5.2, which is, agrees with this. Over here, it says x is less than 5.2, but this is more restrictive. x must be less than 5. So here we have to come up with the proper inequality, which is the same as this one. So x is bigger than this number, which is to the right, or it's less than that number, which is to the left. So this indeed will be or. That's the solution to this inequality. In the next part, I'm going to do it graphically, come up with the same answer, you'll see. But I'll reserve that for another time. Now, back to the anagram of the day, Presbyterian. It turns out it's three words. First word starts with B, second word, third, second word starts with I, and the third word starts with P. If you want to pause the video and think about it for a bit, Go right ahead. But I'll give the answer. It's vest in prayer. How do you like that? Okay, so be prayerful, be in prayer, and we'll see you next time. Take care.